if you like Johnny Depp, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. See, my daddy beat the hell out of me because he didn't know no better way to raise me. I like baseball, movies, good clothes, fast cars, whiskey, and you. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Sleepy Hollow, 1999. Random, do you Sleepy Hollow is a 1999 gothic supernatural horror film directed by Tim Burton and stars Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. The story follows police constable Ichabod Crane, who is sent from New York City to investigate a series of murders in the village of Sleepy Hollow by a mysterious headless horseman. Crane, believing only in logic, refuses to believe the horseman theory, only to find his faith shattered when he begins his investigation into the quagmire of secrets and murder. What are you doing? Don't move or speak. When the other comes, I will hold him. The other? Silence. He comes now. <sighs> Number 9. A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. You can't bring somebody out of a dream. If I can't, then you can all relax because it's just a case of me being nuts. A Nightmare on Elm Street is a 1984 slasher film written and directed by Wes Craven and stars Heather Langenkamp, John Saxon, Roni Blakely, Robert Eglund, and Johnny Depp, launching a franchise that would have cultural impact for decades to come. A Nightmare on Elm Street created the iconic serial killer monster Freddy. With visuals that won't leave your head, for good and bad, this slasher movie takes on an impressively dark and real issue telling it in a way that makes you stay awake for a long time. I know who he is. Who? The killer. You do? Yes. And if he gets me, I'm pretty sure you're next. Me? Why would anybody want to kill me? Don't ask. Just give me some help nailing the guy when I bring him out. Bring him out of what? My dream. Number 8. O is a 2001 biographical crime film directed by Ted Dem and stars Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz. It is based on the real-life story of how George Young, along with the Medellin cartel, headed by Pablo Escobar, established the American cocaine market in the 1970s. As we follow him through his life dealing with marijuana and cocaine, we witness the dark and depressing consequences one has to go through when choosing this life, mostly because it is about choosing one life. Number 7. Finding Neverland, 2004. Jay and Barry, pleased to meet you. Jay and Barry, the author. What a pleasure. Sylvia Llewellyn Davies. You're a writer. I am. Finding Neverland is a 2004 historical fantasy drama film directed by Mark Forster and stars Johnny Depp, Kate Winslet, Julie Christie, Rada Mitchell, and Dustin Hoffman. Inspired by the true biography of James Matthew Barry, but reinventing the story in a more cinematic way, Finding Neverland explores the world of the inventor of the children's classic, Peter Pan. Imposing with astonishing performances, we witness how Barry struggles to get his piece out to the man, while always being followed by his personal missed opportunities and struggles. I still have no idea what to write. Write about anything. Write about your family. Write about the talking whale. What whale? The one that's trapped in your imagination and desperate to get out. Number 6. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998. This is bad country. God damn, I never rode in a convertible before. Is that right? Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is a 1998 psychedelic satirical black comedy road film directed by Terry Gilliam and stars Johnny Depp and Benicio Del Toro. The movie is a psychedelic trip following journalist Raul Duke and lawyer Dr. Gonzo, who drive from LA to Las Vegas on a drug binge. While normally trying to craft new stories, including topics like drug abuse, they now seem to fall deeper and deeper into surreal other worlds and lose touch with reality. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers. Also a quarter tequila, quarter rum, case of beer, pint of raw ether, and two dozen amyl. Number five. Donnie Brasco, 1997. Listen to me, Donnie. 
I know you know. All right? the Bonanno crime family and earns the confidence of mafia hitman Lefty Ruggiero, played by Pacino. But while Donnie moves deeper into the mafia, he realizes that he is slowly crossing the line between federal agent and criminal. You don't call me cops. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead. Cocksucker. Go ahead. Take it back. Kill me. Take it back, Donnie. Fuck you, I'm getting my own room. Number four. Ed Wood, 1994. You don't know me, but I'm Ed Wood. I'm a film producer, and I'm currently in production on a science fiction piece with Bela Lugosi and Swedish wrestler Tor Johnson. Ed Wood is a 1994 biographical comedy drama film directed by Tim Burton and stars Johnny Depp, Martin Landau, Sarah Jessica Parker, Patricia Arquette, and Bill Murray. The longtime dream team of actor Depp and director Burton made it again with Ed Wood, the fictional portrait of a tragic real-life story depicting the life of Ed Wood, an unsuccessful storyteller of the 50s who gained posthumous fame for his sci-fi work in the 80s. We witness the struggles of creative people never given the chance to prove themselves. Of course, Dracula requires presence. It, it's all in the eyes and the voice and the hand. That's right, that's right. You seem a little agitated. You wanna go outside and get some air? Bullshit, I'm ready now, roll the camera. Number three. What's Eating Gilbert Grape, 1993. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my. What's Eating Gilbert Grape is a 1993 drama film directed by Lass Hallstrom and stars Johnny Depp, Juliette Lewis, Darlene Cates, and Leonardo DiCaprio. There isn't much for Gilbert to look forward to in the small town of Endora. The only thing keeping him sane is his mentally disabled brother and his morbidly obese mother. But one day, Becky and her grandmother pass through Endora. Gilbert falls in love with Becky, and with the help of a marooned world traveler, he begins to see the bigger picture. A big party, huh, Gilbert? Yeah. When is that party coming? Six days. Six days is my party, and I'm coming teen. I'm 18, and you're not invited. Arnie, don't be rude. Number two. Edward Scissorhands, 1990. What's your name? Edward? Edward? Edward Scissorhands is a 1990 romantic fantasy film directed by Tim Burton and stars Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder. This all-time classic tells the heartbreaking story of Edward, who is named after the fact that he has scissors for hands. While still learning to accept himself, he must overcome the most simple, but for him extreme, challenges of day-to-day -day life. When his situation finally seems to make a good turn, Edward is accused of murder and must maintain his innocence. What happened to your face? Hmm. No. no, I won't hurt you. But at the very least, let me give you a good astringent, and this will help to prevent infection. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. It's one of these. You can be a dead hero or a live coward. Get it over. All of it! No hands up, come on! Dear old Jack is not serving your best interests, is Captain. Ah! Walk the plank! What did the bird say? Do not blame the bird. Show us what is on that piece of cloth there. <laughs> William Blake. Is this a lie? Or a white man's trick? No. I'm William Blake. And you are a dead man. Number one. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003. Son, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. He's heavy. The first in the series and a huge box office success. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, was directed by Gore Verbinski, 
starring Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, Kira Knightley, and Jeffrey Rush. This 2003 fantasy swashbuckler received massive acclaim among the public and critics alike. The plot revolves around an ordinary blacksmith, Will Turner, who recruits pirate Captain Jack Sparrow to rescue his love, Elizabeth, from Captain Jack's former pirate allies, who are now undead. She's safe, just like I promised. She's all set to marry Norrington, just like she promised. And you get to die for her, just like you promised. So we're all men of our word, really. Except for Elizabeth, who is, in fact, a woman. Shut up! You're next! Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments! If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.